Dr. Hayworth, because both of you have been in Congress for one term, what have you, what have you done to bring industry back to the United States? And please try to give specific details. In this room, we have men and women who work in industry. And I've had the privilege of getting to know and talk with and visit your places of business and talk with so many of you and hear uh, what you need. What do you tell me you need? We need our taxes lowered. We need to have fewer regulations. We need to have the Affordable Care Act a uh, fresh start on that so that we're not carrying the heavy cost of a trillion dollars worth of new taxes on the American people, new mandates and new burdens that all make us less competitive with the rest of the world. So it's, it's very clear uh, what we need to do. We need to fight for a fresh start to our health care, for a tax code that is sensible, fair, lower evens the playing field for our manufacturers versus the rest of the world. We need energy prices that make sense. If we develop our domestic energy, we will be able to compete with the rest of the world because we will be able to afford to have the best manufacturing here. We have the strength, the smarts, and the talents to make these things happen. The other crucial aspect, though, when we think about this is our workers, the heart and soul of our businesses and of our manufacturing are our workers. They need better education. They need better training. We need to make sure that we are facilitating those resources within our communities, respecting you, respecting our communities, respecting our great local educational institutions and our K through 12. Instead of having common core and billions of dollars wasted by Washington on one size fits all initiatives, let's let those resources stay here in the Hudson Valley. I have fought for all of those initiatives. Lower taxes, smarter regulations, fair playing field, lower energy prices, health care that makes sense and doesn't cost you a fortune. And I will continue to fight for them for you in Congress. Congress Congressman Maloney, both of you have been in Congress for one term. What have you done to bring industry back to the United States? And please try to be specific. There's a company called Hudson Valley Lighting in Newburgh. It's been there for about 100 years. It's run by a Republican named David Lee. Uh, he was getting ready to move to California because he just couldn't get the site to actually expand his business in the city of Newburgh. Now think about that. There's somebody who wants to do a 140,000 square foot expansion facility with a bunch of construction jobs and a bunch of new permanent jobs in the city of Newburgh. And he's getting ready to move because nobody will help him. Nobody had ever helped him. And my office went to work on this and we got him the help he needed out of the United States Commerce Department. We got him the help he needed locally. We put him together with the IDA. We got a bunch of help from the local chamber, from the local folks uh, uh, in Orange County. And he's going to keep that business in Orange County and he's going to do 140,000 square foot expansion because my office got in a fight with him. I'm very proud of that. That's a specific example. That is real jobs in a city that really needs it. Now listen, we need to rebuild the Port of Newburgh. I've said it is crazy that they've been getting ready to do $5 billion of construction down the Hudson River on the Tappan Zee Bridge and we aren't getting the work right here. Why are the companies from New Jersey and, and the Carolinas coming in to do, that, to do that construction work, to do that staging? We have a port right here on the Hudson River that we need to rebuild because we need to capture the Panamex traffic from the new ships that are coming in. We can do container traffic uh, out of our ports here in Newburgh. There's not a reason in the world the city of Newburgh and the city of Poughkeepsie can't be thriving, energetic, young job engines again. They can't be rebuilding their economies again. But we've got to be smart. We've got to invest in our infrastructure. That's why I have a bill in Congress that would help companies that have trillions of dollars, literally trillions of dollars in profits overseas, bring that money back if they reinvest it in American infrastructure. If we rebuild our ports, if we rebuild our sewer systems, if we rebuild our highways and our bridges. Look, we've got two interstate highways, we've got railroad, uh, we've, got a, we've got a runway, we've got a river here. There's not a reason in the world for Kitsie and Newburgh and our small cities in the Hudson Valley shouldn't be distribution centers and economic engines, and we've been fighting for that every day. Thank you, Congressman.